It is my honor to announce that Monica Pearson has made the decision to retire at the end of July after 37 spectacular years. It's my honor and pleasure because I know after multiple discussions <laughs> and many including encouragements to stay that Monica is really ready and excited about the opportunity to do some things she just hasn't had the chance to do. Nobody has earned their retirement more than Monica has. 37 years of superior on-air performance, the best in the nation, a selfless commitment to the community service involvement, the amount of speaking engagements and appearances is just amazing. I, I really don't know how you do it. My wife Cindy and I and Marion and her husband Damon had a chance to have dinner the other night with Monica and her husband John. And I was sitting at the end of the table with John, and John shared a story with me that I think is appropriate. He mentioned about a year, I'm not sure how long, a year or two ago, Monica was at an event where she was helping out another great appearance. I think he needed to sing. It was cold, windy. The event lasted a good while. Monica hung in there. It got colder and windier. John said, that was great. We can go now. And Monica noticed that a long line of individuals had formed, waiting to have a chance to speak with Monica individually. And Monica told John, no, I can't. And he said she stayed and made sure that everybody in that line had a chance to speak with her individually. And it, was cold, it got colder and windier. And John told me, which is a wonderful thing from your spouse, he said, Monica is the nicest person I have ever met. So that was terrific. And that's the way Monica is. That's the way Monica has represented herself, her family, WSB TV, our company. She has the ability to connect with people and certainly connect with our viewers. Her care, concern, support of people is so genuine and admired. That is why people love Monica. The city of Atlanta has grown up with Monica, enjoying her talent, which is awesome, her consistency, her warmth, her ability to connect with people as you have reported the news and issues of the day, helping people understand and make sense of what is going on while helping provide solutions. Hearing the news from Monica provided a sense of comfort and security. No matter how tough the news was that day, people felt things were going to be okay. Without question, Monica is one of the very top individuals in Atlanta's history who have made a significant difference and impact. Monica's legacy is already well established as a great anchor, unbelievable community service. But there's another important part of Monica's legacy that she wouldn't even recognize or be cognizant of, and that Monica has been instrumental in preparing us to excel and thrive even after she retires, because she's been our greatest recruiter, able to help us retain and attract the very best people. One of the first people that will introduce themselves when they're interviewing, inter interviewing people or when you come to work, I'll bet a lot of you raise your hand and say, Monica came up and introduced herself to me. True? Unbelievable. Top performers want to work where the very best work. They want to work where Monica works, <laughs> where there is a passion and a commitment to excellence, where there is a commitment and care for the community. And Monica has shown us this is how you do it with your values your attitude, the way you influence people, how you set an example, the way you've mentored folks. And 
consequently, Monica leads the team, but we have a terrific, talented, outstanding honor group to be able to sustain. On a personal note, I really wasn't that thrilled to learn <laughs> after being here just a few months that Monica had decided to retire. But I quickly recognized how grateful and thankful I am to have been here for 10 years previously and gotten to know Monica and just been able to be around her. And now I'm able to be back for her last year. And also that all of us are able to be here for six more months to be able to enjoy your presence, your laugh, your aura, your very being. We all knew one of these days this would happen, but we're sure glad we're able to have six more months with you. You are truly one of a kind, as special and unique a person as you'll ever find. We love you. We're looking forward to the next six months and many special appearances after that. <laughs> Congratulations, Monica. We love you. Thank you. Be a little, a little nervous. Um, I really hope that this day would never come, at least on my watch. Um, on behalf of the entire newsroom, the entire sales staff, the entire promotion department, the veterans, the newbies, um, the veterans, the, the alumni of this wonderful station, we can't thank you enough. From the bottom of our heart, you have paved the way. And I know that sounds kind of corny, but it is so true. And Tim makes a really good point. You know, every time in the past couple years, three, four years, I've brought in candidates. Um, I never put Monica on the agenda because she's just so busy, but she always found them, said hello, welcomed them, told them wonderful things about this station from her heart. And I know when they left here, they said, wow, I met Monica Pearson. <laughs> that was a big highlight. So I thank you. Tim is so right that you are a huge recruiter. Um, you have given us so much of you, so much of Monica, um, and to the community. So much to just us reaching out to us when we had sad things happen in our family or positive things happen in our family. You were always there for us. Um, when I was the 6 p.m. producer, your 6 p.m. <laughs> producer, and I might be your longest standing manager. Through you the are. Ranks. Okay, so 15 plus years. Um, when I was the 6 o'clock producer, uh, Monica helped guide me through the ropes uh, as a newbie to WSB. When I was your executive producer, you were my confidant. And when uh, I was your news director, you guided me like a big sister through some very big landmines. So you have earned this victory lap, Monica Pearson. Um, the next six months, it is our turn to show you our dedication, our appreciation, and our love for you as a friend, a coworker, and a professional. Uh, Jovita, where are you, Jovita? Jovita will be taking on the 4 and 6 p.m. I know half of this room is journalists, and they're going, OK, get to it, Marion. Who's going to do Who's going to do the 4 and the 6? So Jovita, congratulations. Jovita. what you wish for. <laughs> no, you have earned this. This will be a temporary assignment on the four, five, and six. Um, but Jovita has uh, earned this assignment and is a wonderful, fabulous anchor. And um, Monica and Jovita together over the past 10 years, more than 10 years, um, have been together. So uh, I am thrilled that we have the next generation in place. That was a hard task. And I'm very confident that the next generation will be wonderful. Um, I've said this before publicly, and I'll say it again, but um, Monica is to WSB what sweet tea is to Atlanta. <laughs> and I truly believe that. We love you, and you will always be the fabric of WSB. Oh, so, thank, thank you, Mayor. You. We have some very special guests here to celebrate this great occasion. Let me introduce our president of Cox Media Group, Doug Franklin. Thanks for being here, Doug. The 
Executive Vice President Alex Taylor. And someone you all know and love well, let's welcome home Executive Vice President Bill Hoffman. Come on up, Bill. Bill did an awesome job while he was here. so he would have to do it. <laughs> Got that right. Um, oh, my. Oh, my goodness. 37 Jeez. roses. Thank wow. you. Ooh. I feel like Miss America. <laughs> you are. You Without are. Without the swimsuit. <laughs> well, I just, I just have a couple things to say. I, first thing is, this is the best view in America as far as newsrooms go. And, especially right now because you're up here and stuff and if there was a hall of fame boy your jersey would be up there and you've been so much to the station you know if you if you played word association with monica i did and this is what i came up with okay um, infectious laugh great smile wonderful singing voice incredibly competitive incredibly competitive Role model, mentor, so connected with our city, dedicated to community outreach, your love for the big story. And if, if the last time I remember, if you've if you forgotten that she didn't have the chops to still get excited about when something big was happening, was the Athens hostage situation, where we thought out we were gonna do just a baseball game. Zach, you did a nice job that day too, by the way. Uh, going from the dugout to being a GA reporter and stuff. But we, we were live for a very long time and you were as exuberant and good on the fly as you were at any other moment in your life just proving that when, the, when it was on, you were fully on, and it was absolutely great journalism, and you were going strong. And the other thing is cool under pressure. And where's Dorothy? Is Dorothy here? All right, uh, remember the economic crisis special we were gonna do? Arts off campus, trying to pull it all together, and we've got an incredible like Woodstock going on in the, uh, in the uh, studio. And uh, we're about two minutes from air. The CEO is giving me F-bombs over the phone about why he uh, can't be brought in. And uh, you were trying to manage total chaos. <laughs> and then I think Pruitt turned to you and said, we had one minute before we go on air. And you got everybody right, everybody tight, everybody in their seats. And we did a one hour special, <laughs> magically. Uh, and there were probably so many other events. If you just stay here for one year, you see a bunch of them, and it's got her fingerprints all over them. But I just wanted to say, in a very heartfelt way, uh, your greatness comes from who you are as a person. And I think we're just so lucky that you decided to be a broadcaster, and then you decided to allow WSB to be your home for broadcasting. We love you very much. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> for coming on down. We don't do anything anyway. Uh, <laughs> well, a lot of people around here think that. <laughs> but we know it's not true. You can but tell we you're retiring, right? Yeah. I can say anything now. <laughs> but seriously, thank you so much for allowing me to be here for 37 years. My only regret today is that Don Elliott Heal isn't here. Because he's the one who could see past five, 10, or 15 years. And all of you are an example of what Daddy Don really wanted in terms of management. So thank you very much. The only person in this, only two or three people in this room were here when I came. Jocelyn Dorsey, who showed me the ropes when I came. She was the noon anchor, but you talk about a giving spirit. Instead of being mean, rude, and evil because she didn't get the job, she showed me what I needed to do and how to do it. So thank you, Jocelyn. Yeah.
And she's also an example of what can happen at Cox. You can go from being a reporter and an anchor. If you've got the brain power, you can become a manager. And that, to me, is important, that Cox is just not a place where you stay in one role. The way Marion has moved around and gone up in the ranks, that's important. So you can grow and be who you want to be in this company. And then I guess the only thing to say is, I really didn't want a big to do, and I know that sounds crazy. Guess it's like, can we just kind of just announce it and go? And Marion said, no. <laughs> so I gave you guys in. Have something else, but you can't yes, but we we are going to be good. But to all of you, it's been my pleasure. The new the newbies. You're really like the obese because you're the best set of reporters we've had in the 37 years I've been here. It's remarkable how deep our anchor team is. And there is not a weak point in our building from the guys who clean up and keep everything working to the person who's at the head of the place. So all I say is thank you so much for letting me have 37 wonderful years. And um, when Chuck left, I kept saying, well, maybe it's time. When John left, I said, well, maybe it's time. But I can honestly say, it really was before then I knew it was time to go. When you start anchoring with the person you remember as a 16-year-old, <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> so thank you all. Let's enjoy the next six months, and let's celebrate the wonderful career I've had here, but let's also build on the wonderful careers that all of you are going to have. Promise. Now, let's have some fun, have some cake, and i got to go do promos. It's quarter to three. <laughs>